Hey guys, thanks for checking out the channel. What I'm doing in this video is a concrete step replacement. And in this video I'm going to be using a Hilti AVR 3000 jackhammer to demolition this, uh, this small front entrance. So what I like to do with this jackhammer is try to jackhammer in a straight line. Um, that way the, uh, the concrete will crack right along that line and hopefully further. So every time this jackhammer uh, hits that concrete and is jackhammering it, um, it's actually cracking it somewhere. So somewhere in that slab cracks are happening um, and you just want to try to control the cracking by creating a straight line. So you can see I'm just going right down a couple more times. Uh, you know, I stay each each area where I drop this jackhammer is about six inches from the other way. And sometimes you want to cl go close to the edge like that. It'll help loosen it up a bit. So you can see I have the jackhammer on a bit of an angle and uh, you can kind of use this thing as a pry bar to try to get it to, uh, to pull the pieces out. So some of the other equipment I'm using are these safety gloves. Uh, now that these are insulated and uh, the uh, steel, to, steel toe rubber boots and the electrical cord is from Stanley. Um, I got a safety vest as well and um, yeah I think that's all I used in this video. So I always, when I do these demolition projects, I'll just order in a seven yard bin. Um, it's a lot more convenient um, and more cost effective than, uh, than a small dump trailer or something like that. Alright guys, so what I'm using is a uh, steel pry bar. So this thing is perfect for demoing concrete. Um, I highly recommend even like a 20 amp piece of rebar or 50 amp piece of rebar uh, to, to bring up these slabs. Um, I mean, I'll be honest, you can really uh, speed up your demo time with this, uh, this tool. So whenever I'm lifting these slabs up, these things are pretty heavy. Uh, probably overdoing it sometimes, but uh, but I mean, I always like the workout. So when I'm doing this, I pull up the slab and I try to lift uh, lift up these pieces using my legs. Um, I have thrown my back out one time uh, 
doing this twisting the wrong way so you try to go straight up straight down and be super careful of your your fingers because if these things roll it'll take out one of your fingers no problem Alright, so in this particular project, uh, the customer called me out. Uh, they had a large crack across the front of the slab. You can see it going from near the corner of the garage floor across the step and uh, over to the right hand side. Um, so I mean, this, this project should have had a, a dummy cut or an expansion uh, control joint along the front of that step, um, but the, the person that poured it um, didn't, uh, didn't put this in. So basically that concrete's going to crack. There's no doubt it's always going to crack off the side of the house or off the side of another piece of concrete. Um, so I'm replacing this thing. I'm going to put a good solid sand base in and uh, some rebar. Uh, so stay tuned, check out the, the next few videos uh, to see what else we're going to do. Um, and uh, in this concrete itself, the only piece of rebar I really found was uh, uh, right in behind the steps there was a <clears throat> couple pieces of 15M rebar. Alright so what I'm doing now is uh, I'm just going to start on these steps. I have no idea what I'm getting into at this point uh, with these steps. Um, so I can't make any assumptions or anything like that. Uh, but initially, after the first couple of hits with this jackhammer, I could tell that, uh, that it, it was pretty, pretty strong, um, either thick or poured really dry. Um, and uh, this is really the only tool that's going to chew up these steps super fast um, with uh, less uh, labor. Alright, so same thing, I'm just going straight across the front of these steps. Um, with this, this jackhammer, it's pretty heavy, so when you're doing these steps, um, as you can see when, when I'm moving the jackhammer around, um, you got to be careful because once this one of these corners break off, that entire jackhammer goes with it, um, just like what you've seen right there. So as I'm moving this, uh, this jackhammer, I'm actually just going around the perimeter of these steps, trying to, trying to loosen up that concrete. Uh, like I said, every time that jackhammer hits that concrete, it's cracking it somewhere. Um, and the idea is to try to control which way it's cracking. Same thing with steps, it's gonna crack in a straight line, um, even though like this one section here is like uh, 18 inches thick. So it's still uh, it's still doing its job. And I really put this uh, jackhammer to its test on this project. I didn't stop. Um, it was starting to get pretty hot, and uh, you know it, it still worked incredibly well. Uh, I didn't really notice any loss in power. Um, although there was one thing I noticed 
um, as you can see further in the video, um, I actually change over the ex extension cord to plug directly into the house. Um, I was told by an electrician once that um, that if you're you're running electrical power tools, uh, the further you run them on an extension cord, the less power you're going to get out of it. Um, and you can really tell with a jackhammer uh, the difference. So later on in the video, I actually will unplug it from the extension cord and go directly in the house and um, it, it really increase the power. Alright guys, so you're definitely going to want to wear, uh, you know, all your safety gear for this kind of stuff. Uh, you're really getting into some heavy duty uh, construction when you're, you're jackhammering concrete and lots of things can happen. So you just want to make sure you protect yourself well. Um, and I mean, the only thing I was missing in this one was my hard hat and uh, I definitely should be wearing my hard hat. So uh, yeah, guys, uh, make sure that, uh, that you're, you know, you're wearing all that stuff and uh, who cares what people think uh, you know you're, you're gonna be safe uh, when you're working on this stuff because trust me I've had pieces land in my eye um, and I was wearing safety glasses so you know just uh, just make sure you're well protected All right, so good, that piece uh, popped off. Uh, that took a little bit longer than I thought it would have, but I mean, any other jackhammer I've used wouldn't have done this. This thing just chewed up almost a straight line down the side of this uh, this staircase. And uh, it's almost like as soon as that piece went, um, everything else started to uh, to just uh, just crumble off. So I mean I just continue to, to follow those straight lines and move the jackhammer, you know, every five, maybe fifteen seconds, just carry it over. Uh, because these things can get stuck and uh, if you keep getting it stuck it'll uh, it'll add hours onto your, your project. So you wanna keep it moving.
So the other thing I've done when I'm uh, jackhammering steps out is I'll actually take my quick cut concrete saw and uh, cut up some lines probably about six inches deep. Um, that, that'll help. That'll probably cut off a good half an hour or more of jackhammer time uh, with this these types of project uh, is is literally just cutting it and uh, and then hitting the jackhammer where you cut the lines um, I mean that uh, that works really well especially if you have rebar in there All right, so I mean, you want to use the jackhammer to get those big pieces down uh, to a smaller size that's manageable to move. Um, I mean, sometimes I've used a dolly to move these things out um, and just flip them over onto a dolly, roll them out to, um, to a dumpster bin, and that works really well. Um, I mean, uh, hypothetically, you can move like 600 pounds on a dolly. So one thing I would have done differently is just planned out where I was going to end. Uh, my goal was just take this thing out um, as efficiently as I could, uh, but I realized I finished at the uh, the top of the steps, which made it a bit difficult to break up the remaining slabs, but uh, still went super well. Um, no injuries, nothing like that. Uh, you know, just working slow and steady, and uh, really paying attention to what uh, what I was doing. So, yeah. And this pry bar came in super handy. All right, so something you want to keep uh, in your back pocket when you're doing projects like this is maybe like a piece of three-quarter inch plywood in case you're working up against a front window. Um, you want to make sure you're blocking off the area. Sometimes I'll even uh, put up some 4 by 8 sheets and uh, just to keep the debris in because these little pieces will fly 30 feet uh, in the air and they're, they're sharp as a razor blade. So these things uh, can be pretty dangerous and... Uh, it's tough to clean up all the little pieces later, but uh, yeah, in this, this project I had a pretty good work zone, so uh, I just left it, cleaned it up after.
All right, so I'm just getting to the end of this lap and uh, just a few more pointers, uh, you know, is to maybe just keep a smaller jackhammer uh, as a backup uh, in case you run into tight areas. Uh, like for instance, in behind this railing here was a little bit difficult to get at, um, but, uh, but if I had a smaller jackhammer, I could definitely get in there and take apart that, uh, that slab a bit easier. Alright guys, so I'm getting rid of the last pieces and uh, just going to do some cleanup, hand dig this thing out, get it down uh, about 6 inches and then bring some sand in. So in the next video, be sure to check it out. Uh, i got a few more to this video, but, um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Uh, if you need concrete work within the Kitchener-Waterloo-Guelph area, give me a shout. Uh, check out my website at theartofconcrete.ca. Thank you, and uh, if you have any suggestions, comments, or anything like that, feel free to leave them.